Leroy Gilliard to come before you to introduce our world-renowned artist, Leroy Campbell. Yeah, I have the distinct pleasure of doing this. You know, I spoke to uh, the artist, Mr. Campbell, and we affectionately call him Chick, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, and many of you yes. know that, Chick. Yes. So, and, and many of you who are from downtown or from AKA Back the Green. Back the Green. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so I have the pleasure and the honor of doing this today. You know, when I spoke to uh, Mr. Campbell several weeks ago, and he was trying to get in touch with my brother Wendell, he, um, he said, I asked him, I said, Chick, um, you know what, I want to do you right. You know, I know what to say, I, I want to introduce you because you're a world-renowned artist now. Mm -hmm. You know, we knew you when, uh, he said, Roy, stop, stop, stop. So let's say, this is the word he used, he said, just be organic. Yes, that's his word, yes. So I'm like, okay, shouldn't have told me that. <laughs> organic, be myself. Right. And that's what he said. Right. He said, you know me, you've known me for a long time. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be organic. I'm going to be myself. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I've been knowing Mr. Leroy Campbell since mm. 1977. It's a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, we had the opportunity to work together on a couple of things. One, we had two clothing stores on King Street. Some of you all may be young enough to remember that. But uh, we had uh, international tops and bottoms, and then uh, my friend Carl Curry and I had the Seventh Door, which was a ladies' clothing store. We were fortunate enough, we had a group back then that used to go around and advertise our product, our clothing. They were called the Fantastic Five. And, you know, we were, beyond, we, we were beyond our time back then because we would go to nightclubs, we would go to churches, we would go to community functions, and guess what? They would pay us to do it. That's how good we were. And my point is this. The reason we were that good is because we had people like Chick Leroy Campbell modeling our clothing. Chick put a spin on that thing, and, and remember... Uh, Buddy, uh, it's William Cherry. And would you believe my wife was one of the models back then? No, I didn't know her back then. She was too young. But she was one of the models back then, and several other people. But the point I'm getting at is, organically speaking, we go a long way back. I had another opportunity, number two. And you know, my dad used to tell me a long time ago, he said, Roy, Always treat people good on your way up because you never know who you're going to meet, you know, throughout life, and that's true. Because I was in, I was in a position with a major corporation, actually it was Burger King Corporation. Uh, I was director of operation for the Southeast region, mm. and we were looking for something to do on Black History Month. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget that day. I was sitting in New, in New York with remember Glenn up at D&B Marketing. And they said, Roy, um, we want to do something in, uh, you know, Charleston's market has 60% of the share of all of the, you know, in that region. So we're going to give it to you. So that's me, you know. Anyway, long story short, what we did was we came up with a calendar and we needed someone to represent that calendar. And that meeting, I remembered Jake. And I had a marketing representative that said, you know, I saw some of his work in New Orleans and Atlanta. I said, let's get the guy to do a calendar, 12 months of the year. And what we did then is we called Leroy Campbell, offered it to him, and he accepted it. And as a result of that, his work was showcased throughout the whole Southeast region in all of our restaurants. And I'm very proud of that chick because you did us a good job. I want to give you a hand for that. Mm -hmm. Again, it just goes to show you when we sit at these tables, we got to remember us. Us, amen. And we got a lot of talent in, in, in our community. 
and Chick, I remembered your work back then. You know what I remember it from? Because Leroy Campbell, you know, he and I had a couple of things in common. He worked with us, one of the men's bullies. So one thing about Leroy is he was always different. He, if you went right, until you guys went right, he went left. Chick was going left. And that's just the way he was. He was different, and you could scratch your head all you wanted, but when he came back, he had a, substan uh, a substantial product, and, a, and he had an idea that would go all the way. I remember when, he, when we were looking for signs, and this is when I found out he could draw. And by the way, and I know he's not ashamed of this, but he has a disability on one of his, on his hands. Mm -hmm. so his fingers are, are, are cut off on one of his hands. And we would consider that as a disability. He was in the store one day, and he said, I said, we need to get the sign up because we got the sale going on. Leroy said, I'll draw it. I said, what? He said, I'll draw it. He took the posters in the back, and I, I, I'm telling you, he came out with some of the most amazing advertisement that we had ever seen, that we, everybody was talking about it, and that's what I knew that he had this special talent. So, never say never and never say you can't because this man is proof that if you work hard and put your mind to it, it can be done. Right. Now, let me move on because I'm going to be brief here. Brief? <laughs> you don't know what I mean. Yeah, I'm going to be brief. <laughs> but I got so much stuff to say about this guy, I can't say it all, Chick. But Chick is... Try, don't try. <laughs> Basically self-taught. He was born and bred right here in Charleston, South Carolina. Right um, back to Green, like I said, from, with his mother's Dorothy and Joseph Campbell, who are native Charlestonians. Mm -hmm. He's the fifth, fifth of uh, nine children, six children, I believe he has six. He was reared right back at Gatson Green's project. You all know where that is, next to Burke High School over there. 20 yards diagonally from the park was A.B. Red High School where he attended. 10 yards across from Red Elementary was Burke, where he also attended and graduated in 1975. Hey. If you follow Leroy's works, you'll know that his works are indicative of the man that we are representing today, Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. The spirit in it, as you will see in his unveiling, the courage in it, the love, the redemptiveness, and this is what I got out of it when I saw it. His works, if you saw the race, mother, stronger together, maybe you've seen that. Maybe you've seen the tribute to Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Or maybe you've read his book, mm -hmm. My Authentic, My authentic my, Self. Uh, authentic authentic self. self. Oh, thank you, Jay. <laughs> authentic self. His work is displayed internationally. And some of the people that have his work, Samuel Jackson, all right, uh, Martin Lawrence, the, the uh, first, was it the First Wives Club on television, displayed his work on the show. So, like I said, his work is international. Now, this today is a great tribute to Emmanuel. And when I spoke to Chick, he said, Roy, my spirit tells me that I have to come home and do something. I'm from Charleston, and I sit up here sometimes and think about what can I do to honor and respect those people that lost their lives in that tragic, tragic terrorist act that occurred. And he said, you know, those people are redemptive, and they are. The Emmanuel people are redemptive, redemptive. They show love after all of that hate. I mean, you can't say enough about that. Some of us can't do it. But Emmanuel, my hat goes off to you. That's what Martin Luther King was all about. He said, truth crushed the earth will do what? Rise again. again. Love over hate. Love is redemptive. And Chip, my hat is off to you because you show that in your work. And I'm sure these people will see this. When you come up, I'm going to end with this. I'm going to end with your description of yourself, Chick. On his post, 
and his authentic self, authentic self. He says, I'm one, a father, I'm a mentor, I'm a Gala ambassador, a spiritual warrior, an entrepreneur, and a motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, with that said, I bring to you. Okay. Yes. seen each other a long time, we just kind of picked up where we left off. Mm -hmm. I love that. So give him a hand for that. That was beautiful. I love it. The last time I saw a window, uh, as, he, as everyone, you, you know that we were modeling, his name was uh, Hot Sauce. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Exercise the five B's of public speaking. Be brief, brother. Be brief. <laughs> so um, I thought that. But wait a minute. Let me thank God. Yes. For saying to me today what He said to me yesterday. Wake up. Keep living. And keep doing my work. Yes. Who all the facts and praises to do that is. Yes. Glory. So I thought the best way, and I'm gonna, not going to waste a lot of time, I thought the best way to talk about or to tell you why this painting, this innovative, multi-layered, mixed-medium collage painting, why I call this piece Bible study. So are there color guards anywhere in the room? You know what? May I borrow two of you right now? Do you mind? Just two of you come. We don't have to wait for them. So I'd like to unveil to you this painting. You on one side, and you on the side. When you finish, just take this, just remove this board and go to the back with this. Bible study. So I'm going to take the time and break it down why it's called Bible study. So. As you see, conceptually speaking, it's a woman being baptized. Between the trees is the Bible scripture, the sowing of seeds. This is the scripture they were studying when the unthinkable happened. This is the documentary part of this piece. As you look about her dress, you notice there a black and white photograph of the Emmanuel Nine. And next to each one of them are actual copy pages from the Bible. That is there to give the believers to strengthen the believers' faith and to help give the viewers understanding. Along with these scriptures are inspirational quotes to help give the Emmanuel 9 a voice that gives us, or the viewers, direction. And as you can see, she's just been baptized, and you see a pleasure on her face. And to help her stand even more, these wings represent her ascending to her new beginning, her new way of doing, her new way of thinking, her new way of actualizing her new life. But we don't go through nothing alone. That's why you see these two men here. There, there's nothing that you're going to go through, you will do it alone. So at this time, I didn't go through this alone. Right. Lily Robinson, please stand. Ricky Bellinger, please stand. Stand, Ricky Bellinger. Where is uh, Natalie Campbell? And where is uh, Mayo Campbell? Shelly Campbell? Where are you? These are the people who I turn to to help me pick out these scriptures. To give my to help me guide me along the way. So in seeds, 
on fertile ground. 16th Street Baptist Church, we know that's happened before. Fertile ground, 1964, the day that Lyndon Johnson signed the Civil Rights Bill in the presence of Martin Luther King. Hello? And then you have a quote by Coretta Scott King, struggle is never ending, struggle is a never ending process. Freedom is never really won. You earned it and mm -hmm. win it in yeah, every generation. generation. Each generation has responsibility right. to help move the needle forward. Yes. I want to do this piece not only because it hit home, because you see the creative process started for me mm -hmm. while I was sitting in Emmanuel worshiping the first day the church doors opened. And I don't know if I would have been in Charleston had I not heard my brother could have been Emmanuel number 10. So I drove to Charleston to hug, to hug my brother and look at my brother. And so by, by the grace of God, I was sitting there, and while I was in that church, the pastor was doing a marvelous job. And it was then that I heard God say, you know, you got to do something. I said, yeah, I know. So the creative process started then. And I just finished it last month, you see. So I hope, well, my aim is that this piece will help continue to, to strengthen and heal the, the survivors, mm -hmm. the immediate family, mm -hmm. and the church family. And I hope that all who view this painting, because we want this painting to be in a prominent place, it will travel first. But we want Charleston to be its resting place. I want to, there's so many people in the world who feel this and love this. So I want them to see it. But my ultimate, ultimate goal is that I want to encourage you and all of you to own your spirit. Because mm -hmm. when you own your spirit, you allow God to do, use you to do the work. Yes. You trust your spirit and God will use you like he's using me. Yes. And that's what I hope that you all will get from this. Amen? Amen. Proclamation. Whereas the great city of Charleston wishes to recognize one of, the, one of its most dedicated sons. And whereas Leroy Campbell was born in Charleston, South Carolina, and raised by his loving parents in Gatsby. And whereas a child who loved comics and art, Leroy Campbell received great support from his loving parents while attending Charleston County Schools. And whereas, after graduating from Burke High School in Charleston, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Leroy Campbell moved to New York City in 1976 to pursue art. He is mostly self-taught and became a successful and established artist. And whereas, Leroy Campbell, who now resides in Atlanta, made incredible art that incorporates newspaper clippings that includes sculptures, dioramas, and painted collage featuring themes such as music, family, and children, boxing, education, and gula culture. Gala. And Gala. Gala. I said, you know, I presented a proclamation to them. I did the same thing. I think I got run out of the, uh, the <laughs> stadium. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the one you gave me. <laughs> Dudley, you'll never let me forget that, will you, Councilman? Uh -huh. And where, yeah, you missed up on that. It gets right. And whereas for the 19th annual MLK Picture Awards, Leroy Campbell is unveiling a picture called Bible Study that pays homage to victims of the Mother Emanuel Amy Church tragedy. And whereas this great city of Charleston wishes to recognize the immense contributions of Leroy, oops, Leroy Chick Campbell to the art and culture of our historic city, our state, and our nation, through his inspiring network, as well as his gifts as an educator and storyteller. Now, therefore, I, John J. Tecklenburg, Mayor of the city of Charleston, do hereby proclaim Tuesday, January 31st, 2017, to be Leroy Chick Campbell. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. In the great city of Charleston, and thank you for contributing to highlight the African American.
spirit through the arts and command his tireless dedication to celebrate diversity and community spirit through its work. Signed, John J. Tecklenburg, Mayor, Great City of Charleston. Chick. Wow. Yeah. Got a key. Got a key. Now, I understand uh, Roy's got a bar tab on a local establishment, so it's an open tab there, Chick. <laughs> okay, okay, Roy. Give me your credit card. <laughs> but this is really, really special. For the first time we've done this, a key. Yeah, the they told me they didn't have one before. Course. Yeah. It doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't get any better than this. This. Yes! Congratulations! You can't tell me that there's not a God in the view of this body's life. This is it right here. We're coming back early next, uh, later this year, and we're going to do more, and we want more of you to tell everybody about the good news. And